There we go. Hello, 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 hello. Mm -hmm. Let's see when people start getting in. See, Doonhammer's also playing. That's nice. <clears throat> Hello. Happy Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Some more Kimber memes. Hey, 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 hey. Of course, that's the entire idea of playing as the elements. Hello, Rhyme Wolf, you're here. We can get started. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is Thanksgiving Day in America, so we are going to be playing and continuing on with our Ottoman Empire game. If you remember from last time, I don't think you were in the whole game there, Ryan. So uh, let's see, we had a revolt in Basra by the Assyrians. They did not like their stay, and we made them like it. We're moving things around. We won our war against Bulgaria, taking a couple provinces off of them. We ended up backing the correct winning side in the Arabian War. And I believe I can actually award a medal. Something you can do now. Yeah, to the 3rd Cavalry Division, I could give them an award. Specifically for taking over Riyadh, the former seat of the Saudi government. And also they seized an airfield in December, apparently. They had airfields? I didn't know they had that. So, for your actions of taking the capital, I can give you some different points. I can give you a recovery rate for less experience loss, division attack, division recovery rate and supply consumption, or max entrenchment. Well, your cavalry division, I think I'll give you the Order of Military Virtue. Yes, lovely, lovely. I could also potentially promote their officer. I don't think I will. I know yesterday I clocked out early due to tiredness. Yeah, it makes sense. I, I, I was streaming pretty late. Near political loyalty. I could go for political loyalty, make it a bit cheaper for future armies, because most of my armies are broken up into very, very small units. They're more, arm, more, they're more army corps than they are armies themselves, but they're just named armies anyway. You can have, ooh, you can have the scavenger crate. I love the scavenger crate. I love being a little squirrel just eating away at my enemies. Ambusher versus expert. We got a lot. We might as well spend it. Maybe I should put it into more important uses. Got a skirmisher, a paratrooper. But we don't exactly intend to have paratroopers or that. So I'll, I'll pass. You... <laughs> You, you can have the infantry expert, because you'll probably just have a bunch of infantry. You're a cavalry man. Don't do that. I want to look to my generals. Show the field commanders, please. No, not those. That's not what I meant. Generals, show active. Yes, there we go. Show active. I want to see the ones that I can... I get a field marshal of Refet Pasha. You could have defense. Yeah, he's more of a defensive man. We need to get ready for a war in the desert. Did I just give you something? Can you take something else? No, you cannot. You, again, infantry expert, more attack, the better. We got somebody down here. Again, scavenger. I don't know if there's going to be any fortresses to take over. Oh, it's just not. It's just not. You, with the commando trait, I could probably give you the paratrooper, but we don't have any, so don't worry about it. Let's just get going. Logistics fulfillment. I need 200 trucks. I did recently Empire Salvates Epiphany. If, if, yeah, Epiphany. That's, that's exactly what that is, Epiphany. I got that Supply Hub here and Supply Hub here, and I think Supply Hub in Baghdad and in Medina set to trucks so that they can better cover the desert and the wide range of area that is not supported otherwise. Hmm. Bombing tank, man, they just keep that just keeps happening. I don't know, I do not know 
when the war in the desert actually is supposed to kick off. It's probably sometime this year or maybe next year. I know everything's been pushed back later because wars can't kick off by themselves without the Velt Creed going on. Formation of the Syrian Muslim Brotherhood. Hmm. Look at that. The, uh, the radical socialists have been winning over in China. That's neat. Sure, that's not going to bite me in the ass later. And here I could get myself some chiefs of the navy. Chief of the army. Russian... Hmm. Well, that's no fun, but I can't exactly help them. can't exactly get my army over to attack Russia. You know, come to think of it, I, it doesn't appear that they do, but because they no longer have the Don, Russia could have a Black Sea fleet again. But it doesn't look like they do. Let's see, in here, dispersed industry, please, please. I know I'm going for Inspectorate, which will give me two more military factories. And that's the thing I want, that's the thing I want. I know I'm constructing. Ooh, anti-partisan again. I think that's really all I need there. Although I could go for some passive defense. <clears throat> Just really build that up. I've been doing, oh, 150% now. Nice. I've been spending pretty much my entire military just on dealing with rebels everywhere at all times. So it's nice if I can, you know, force them down a bit. The inspectorate. So now I have two free military factories. <laughs> Ooh, specialized desert troops. Do I enables the Camel Corps? I already have Camel Corps, but still pretty good for more desert warfare before the desert war. Cheaper land doctrine. Or I can... What on earth is this? Enshrine the Endeavor Front. What on earth? And dismantle it. Join the ranks back to join the Entente. Well, I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to join the Entente. I don't like the Entente. Is this the path that I'm currently on towards market liberalism? Me. I don't know about that. <laughs> we can get some civilian factories going. I'm thinking we could even bring back our old Mauser and just have those set up to go. So because they're so cheap and I just need them. Can you do Jerusalem as your capital, please? That would be very funny. That'd be very funny. I can't do it at the moment. Because it's uh, not inside of my country, but I could, maybe could. Is that is that a thing you can do? Can you turn... You change your capital. I know it's in other games. I don't know if I can do it in this game. don't know if there's some event that can do that. Let's see. I also want more of those. And I need more of these. I need more close air support frames just in general and here i'm getting them from the serbian socialist revolution oh no they're gonna it's gonna be tito oh no let's not get it from them then are you run by t are you tito is, is this tito in here no it's tifron little. funny how the entente has the american flag in the background of the focus yeah it's kind of it, it that is funny that is weird especially because i doubt that america is going to go entente this route Seems to be a CSA game, or maybe maybe a Pacific States game. It really depends on who Canada wants to join, if Canada intercedes. It happens a lot. Oh boy, who are they resisting now? 30% up in Nicosia, huh? Well, what's up with that, huh? Greece, you're only at 22%. Oh, it's because the Dodecanese are so chill. We'll go up to a military governor there and a military governor there. Romania, I have been completely ignoring um, this area down here in Fezzan. I just, I, I don't care. I just don't care. If they rebel, they rebel, you know? I don't care about some pointless desert. It shall be a lawless land. A lawless, lawless land. Oh, uh, boy. Protests in Jerusalem, well, does that affect me? East Jerusalem, maybe? It probably will affect me later. Probably will. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest with you. 
Anti-Zionist, protest in Baghdad, the increased... <laughs> Just go away. Up in here, we still got... Even after I kick the Assyrians, but they still don't like me. Which makes sense. Of course they don't like me. More passive defense. I want more counterintelligence. Let's see. I could really use more air power, but I could really, really use more... Just more guns. I just need more guns, you know? I j sometimes you just need more guns. Creation of the state airline, general directorate. Cool. That does give me enough that I can spend and buy a new plane design. Because we've currently been rocking some interwar close, our close air support. So I can make something here. Which one looks like some close air support to me? That's the design. Oh no, it's, just, it's got a pretty good design. I like it. That's the the Her 15, the Her Dirt. Oh, cool. Get my name. Nope. I want engine two. I want the CSA bomb locks. The A35. You already have that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop doing it. Stop naming things after things that don't exist. Want a light turret in the background. Maybe some die breaks. Now that increases weight and increases air defense during bombing missions. Nice. But it will not be the A35, it will be the A38. Uh, and I won't give it a special name because I don't know what any of these words mean. So there you go. It looks slightly different from that one. And you go away. You go ahead and get your A38. New productions. Love it. Love to see it. I'm building up my tank forces. Completion of the Kut Barrage. Bar Barrage. I don't know what that is. Uh, Ryan, you weren't here when I made my tank design. It is this, this shitty tank with uh, one person turret. It doesn't even have a radio, I am now realizing. So I should come in here and make a, a new model. This is the B. No, the, the first one will be model A, rename. And then model B will include a radio. <laughs> uh, include the radio, I forgot about that one. Save as new, boom. Boom, there we go, I love it, yeah. Well, it's super cheap. Because 3.4, that's even cheaper than getting a... That's even cheaper than getting an artillery piece. It's cheaper than an anti-aircraft gun. It's cheaper than a support equipment. It is more expensive than a truck and obviously more expensive than one of these. But it is super, super cheap. And it is... Uh, it's the perfect speed of 6.3 to be used with cavalry units. Because their top speed is like 6.4 at most. So it's really it's good for that. <laughs> it's made to be cheap and fast. I don't expect our enemies to have any sort of... Hello, Daniel. Hello, how are you? We'll make some sick band bees. The first one will just not have any... Striving for our turkey. Our turkey. Our turkey. Striving for our turkeys. I wonder in here, Armored Project, gain two, ooh, hello, with light armor, with four light armor, two motorized battalions, hmm. I really like these missions because they give you a bunch of free equipment, but I need to make sure I have good equipment because I am i don't want to do that and then get like 400. Fast tank is always better. As fast as your infantry can go, because yeah, I can have trucks, but I don't have a lot of trucks. For motorized infantry, I'm using all my trucks for the other systems. If I could make a nice um, motorized and light tank division, like a light tank built for the motorized tank divisions, I would love to do this project. As a better light tank. Let's see. Railroad Unification Act. It's funny because last episode, or last stream, I did spend a lot of time building this railroad. The Equan Revolt. Building this railway right here, all the way up along the coast to cars, which did not have any rail support. The Equan, huh? Alhamdulillah. 
Let's see, you still my buddy? No, you're not my buddy no more. Well, obviously I need to send you some uh, support because I don't want the Equan to take you out. I don't even know who this is. This is like your third revolt. The Equan. I need... I could send you one volunteer. Okay, I need a division with one volunteer in it. I could send this guy again, because he was the one that fought there last time. Sure, let's break him off into a division. Give him Tashin Pasha. Takin Pasha. Tahini Sauce Pasha. Ah, Tasin Pasha. Send some air forces. I, I mean, I can't, because that's not how the air works. I don't have any air forces to send, but they can chill anyway. I don't know how many troops you've got left over. You got all your troops down here on my border. Mm. Better defend your homeland, my friend. As for that, do we got decisions? I think we're good on that. I could increase my limited conscription. I can't do this yet somehow. I, oh, that's because I have a bonus. That's why. Could maybe get something in there. I could get like a commando. Anything in here for army logistics? Less attrition, very important. Fleet logistics, concealment, infantry. I do kind of like the army attrition guy. I do like that idea. Although for some reason he doesn't also come with... Oh, that's not a thing in this mod. He does not come with any sort of increase to our army experience. So that's just... We can probably ignore him. We could go for an air reformer here. Dave, air experience gains plus 30. Why does the air experience guy get less? Air reformer. Come on. Air superiority. I'll probably go with this guy for air power. But we're good on air power for now. I'll save it up. Anti-Zionist actions in Iraq. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Like that there's just this little stream here. The fall of Denver. Equan oh, that didn't take long. They can do it themselves. Oh. A murder in Baghdad. A coup d'etat in Cairo. Who's in charge now? It's now Farouk the first. Okay. Is that gonna be the prelude to war? I don't know, but I better get my guy back. Chief Rabbi denounces the Zionist program. Okay. Yeah, do it. Do what you want, bud. Do what you want, bud. That's on you. Passive defense. Chief Rabbi has denounced the MOJ. Okay. Sure. A denounce away. Here we got you're going down. You're going down. I like it. I like it a lot. Anybody else in here? Iraq is in a bit of a tizzy. We've got a military governor. Although I really don't need... Oh, Basra is the only place where it has one. Okay, fair enough. And here, 12% Lebanon. So Lebanon gets civilian oversight, and they are hopefully going to increase my compliance very heavily. General Stike in Palestine. Alec Orda is dead. Marshala in the Truckel States. They're kind of in revolt. Oh no, violence, not violencia. Society of the Defense of Palestine forms. Shut down shut them down, or hmm. Shut them down and decrease tension in Baghdad. Well, there's not really any in Baghdad, so. You know? Sometimes you gotta turn a blind eye to such things. <clears throat> Almost have enough sick bands that I can use the Real Food Unification Act. Nice, nice. Oh, good. Goody, goody. That means I can go to early mobilization. Hopefully that is increased. I'm just building a bunch of, like, little forts everywhere. I do like having my little fortress towns. Especially because it's very unlikely that we'll have enough troops to hold the whole front at once. That's right, I'm taking a sip of some nice uh, Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. And water. Idris returns to the throne. Idris Elba? Arab desperados leave for Palestine. Haifa increase. Haifa. Oh, that's this place. Okay. 
But no, you start with zero compliance. Local police force is probably okay to handle that. <clears throat> but what is Ildr Ild Idris Elba up to? Exile, prince of the Sunusi order, not the Sunusis. Idris I has returned to the self-imposed exile in Cairo, his nephew Zaz Zubir bin Ahmed as Sharif has been announced to resign the remaining Ottoman observers has been kicked out of Serenaica. Oh, Serenaica. Are you not my puppet anymore? What's going on? You're still Farouk. The city of Girabub, which has been transferred to Serenaica at the end of the war, has now been decreed an official capital of Serenaica. Really? Put down the order. We declare they become free and they declare war on us. And they move their capital to Jagbub there. Well, we should buy their time. They become a puppet and becomes... Oh, this is the formation of the Cairo Pact, huh? So we can either go to war now, where I have basically no troops in the region, but it's a shitty region anyway. They declare war on us. They will come free. They declare war. They move the capital, and the San Anakin revolts happens. I could probably put that down. I could probably put that down. The real question is, what does Cairo do? Because we can hold in, in Benghazi for a while. We can like just put that up, hold out in Benghazi with these troops. These troops rush in and hold a defensive position out here somewhere. The supply situation is to where I might just want them to come in anyway and then we bring troops in from the coast uh, it's like armies from Anatolia armies from here have them stage some attacks on the new capital will be there in Jabub maybe come into Derna attack in Derna because like I said the supply situation is awful so I think we will put them down now it's a question of what do we do to stop them. You is too far away. How about you switch over to that? What about heavy? Uh, even heavy. I would like to have a defense here, but having them come up is just as bad for them. So you two just hold in Tripoli, really. Just hold the area around Tripoli, a hold the defense. I can bring in planes. I can definitely bring in planes to help the defense in Triple Tripolitania. They're going to surround me here, so it's not really worth my time trying to defend there. In here, we got anything for war. Specialize some troops for the, for a war in the desert. <laughs> All right, I need my navy out in about. I need them there and there. Again, I want you on strike force. I want you on patrol. I want you on... I want you targeted right there. You I want on patrol. Don't even worry about this re region. I want you on combo raiding. You... I don't really need you in this war. Yep, 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 yep. Now, what army will I send? This arm is a pretty stable one. I think we move troops from over here. Probably the best bet. Use my Levant army. Want troops going from Beirut to the area around Derna. Something, 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 something. You land on Derna the 14th. And the 29th. The Levant army will land there. These two units of their army will join up with African force in Benghazi. Try to hold Benghazi. Either they can try to hold in Benghazi. Hmm. The trouble with that is they'll land, they'll have no supply, and then they'll just get killed instantly. I'm thinking maybe we break them off. Have them be under like this guy who's the snow guy for some reason. And they can come no. Have them join these this force here. 
for the whole defense around Tripoli. Because that should be well within range of supply. Yep, good defensive position in general. Allow that to go. <laughs> I could have up to 10 divisions. You are the Turkish army. You. You just hold there. You, I want you in the African theater. You'll be the new African army, the army group one. You move over to his divisions. You. I want you coming out of here to come to the rescue. Yeah, you get off your current line. We'll leave the line against Bulgaria open for now. Probably not a great plan. We'll stage some landings over here. Around the city of Abjabiba. Up to there, and then the cavalry division landing here. We'll do those two attacks. This one to try and take Derna, this two to try and take Abdibja. Hopefully they send troops through Tripoli, <clears throat> with the hope being you hold the defense as best you can, we'll build up if they don't come within five days, we can build up some forts, at least. You come and help defend the fort at Benghazi. Hold this defensive line around Tripoli. Oh no, there they are. They're already here. Yep. Hold that for at least a week. These guys gotta get into position. But otherwise, they should be good in about a week. Just need to hold out as best we can. Greece has canceled on aggression. <laughs> Come on, don't be like that. Now in here, we got the enemy air superiority. We got the shore bombardment. We'll push them down as much as we can and just keep holding out with the last stand ability. Duchy Stin in Salindia has fallen. This is my African theater. Four days. Three more days. Okay, they're ready to go. They're ready to go. That'll do fine. That'll do fine. Creation of the Yazoo Sultan Salim Association. Oh, okay. This man will just have to hold on as best he can. In the Siege of Benghazi. <laughs> There'll be the defense there. This air. Hmm. This attack is probably not going to be very useful. I might even want to have him come in there. Edit mode. Hmm. I want to, what I want to do is edit this. Click to edit naval. Right click to begin free drone. No. Sad. Coming in from all sides. Another four days. These guys are ready to go on their invasion. You're ready to go on your invasion. I say launch them. And you just ready up another last stand when you're ready. You know, I don't think they even have a navy. Let's set them on hold and set them outside of Benghazi. Set you on naval invasion. Naval invasion. Support. No, naval invasion. Oops. Naval invasion support. All around. You guys are starting to come in. Lovely. I don't exactly intend to use you out in the desert. Protest in Haifa. If Jesus, we have a low political power. Ooh. Ooh. You back on that last stand. We brought in our big guns. Troops should be landing in Derna any minute now. This is what you guys get. 
So this attack is not going to work. This attack should go through, and this attack should go through. Does it look like we have any resistance in Derna? Lovely. Now then, take the capital. Derna has been taken. Move in. Take the capital. Take the area around the capital and go just downwards. You with your troops, you're in the area now. Push in this way. Our troops should be landing. Ah, they... Okay, these two are through, at the very least. Cut off any troops that are trying to escape. Like this guy. Yeah, there we go. Cut him. their army off. Your army. I think your army should best be served. Try and save Benghazi. You, after you meet up, meet up there. Take their capital, Jabub, and come up this way. The something, something, something in Damascus. Ish My name it be Ishmael. Snake your way through the desert. Come and get him, boys. Your defense will hold out just fine. Jabub has been taken. What does that mean for the war? Pretty close. Not gonna bring in Jabba Shamar or any of the others. Don't need to. You rescue Benghazi. Mm -hmm. And then after you're done snaking, come on in. Break those forces, those armies. Ah, oh, there's a big dust storm. Can't see anything. The new capital is in Abduja. Chile took some states. Oh no. Benghazi holds. Now break their spirits. Alright, I say this is a good war. Good times all around. Good times all around. I think we beat them. Three dockyards. Ooh, hey, that means that. No, I just gained some dockyards because I took Baron, I think. Well, don't worry about it too much then. With Benghazi holding. Break them, break them. Probably going to be losing a lot of troops just to, uh. The desert more than our actual enemies. This area here is probably not going to break. That's okay. Doesn't have to. With Serenaica broken, that leaves one less issue on our flanks. Take Abdija. That's the point we really need to take. Oh, Polish elections. Neat. I think we handle this war just fine. I could bring in more. Yeah, I could bring in these guys. They're chilling. If only the US ambassador in Benghazi had the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> Where are her emails? Benghazi will hold. And down here. Yeah, they're coming through. Make sure we destroy their army before we move on. You know, gotta get some casualties in this war, right? We're currently only at 356 casualties. But that's from the enemy. I'm sure we've lost a few thousand to the, the dust. And trying the Endeavor front. Centralized versus breakup monopsony. Centralized state authority. Emancipation! Oh ho ho! Dismantle the Endeavor Front and enshrine it and then dismantle it? I don't get it. I don't get it. What's the point? Sell off Basra concessions? Huh. Or fuel refinery, southern fuel. Okay, I want I want fuel. <coughs> Fuel's good. Fuel is nice. The last city is their old their former capital. Yeah, they should have thought when that went through. You, come on in. You need to break them at Abidja. Did you enjoy your Thanksgiving dinner? I'm sure I sure did. Haven't had Thanksgiving yet. It's only 12:30 where I live currently. 
I will be enjoying it later though. And here, we gotta break him. Oh, I got kicked out immediately after taking that province. Oh boy. Oh well. With all the troops coming in from the south, we should be able to break up Vija pretty quickly. Oh. Come on, just end this war. There we go. We got Pucel de Bill Model. They had, uh, they had some inf some Turkish weapons and some French weapons, of which we have stolen. Now we have 55. We will obviously take all the demands. And this just uh, comes with, I guess. I had dinner at 9.30. Oh, that's breakfast. You can call that dinner as much as you want. Okay, there's nothing left there. Beneficiaries is me. Confirm and exit. Ottoman Empire. Serenica, that's what you get. That's what you get. <laughs> uh, I see one of my invasions didn't exactly work out. Ah, good. Now, now I think that deserves some medals to go around. Citation needed. Source. I like this guy, 120 experience, but he already has a medal. Let's see, what'd you do? Nothing anytime recently. You have one officer experience, but you still took... Oh, you took part in the siege of Thessalonica. That was a while ago. But you also took over... Poldiv? Ah, you took Poldiv. Well. I don't have enough. Nah, sad, I don't have enough political power. Still nice, though. You took part in the occupation of Jabul. Former seat. That right there. You were the one who took that. Good for you. You was in first into the breach at the landing of Derna. Good for you. And you were took part in the occupation of Abdija, the former governor of Senyarka. Nice. Good all around. I see I could get some doctrine. Start preparations at 4. 4 a.m.? Are we talking AM or PM here? That's that's absurd. Victory or death, aggressive reconnaissance, op reserve officers, flexible organization, static warfare. I'm not sure what I would want. I know I need to break up my army here, though. I need to send you back up. You are the first army. You need to get back on your line with Bulgaria. Let's see. Katim Pasha. And actually, you should... <laughs> Just give it a second. You... You, I believe, had forces in Damascus. You were part of the Army of the Levant. I shall return you to your duties in Damascus and Beirut. And Amman, looking after the major cities. This army was the Army of Africa, which I should maybe just allow to leave with what you had. Because now we own a lot more down here, huh? 4 a.m. I'm an early bird. Damn. Let's see. You, perhaps you should get this whole army. Or I should split it up between you. You can return to Turkey. Army of Africa can be split up between the two sectors under Sadhatin Pasha, who shall take his troops, 25th and 7th. Give you to them. Give to them. You will look after Serenaica. You shall look after Tripoli. You probably don't need both units, but it's fine. I took over a lot of the army of Anatolia, but I don't exactly intend to fight in Anatolia for a while. I do, however, now need to worry about the border here with Egypt. So that's not good. I have yet to see any pop-ups when it comes to Serenaica. Now that I've taken it over. Triple Kenyan lands. Hmm. Formation of Central America. Let's see, my navy slash. Do I have I could get some Dysometric radar? Yes, I could. It is 1938, but I should probably get computing machines first. Everybody. Everybody, back to the home bases. You just chill. 
you chill, you chill. Everybody come back home and chill. Anything about Serenaica? Vargas. What should I go for? I don't really have superior firepower. I could go for trench warfare for max entrenchment and entrenchment speed. Reinforcement rate. I don't really think mobile fits us. But maybe some trench warfare. Trench warfare in the desert. I know that we've already beat one in Benghazi. Now we're starting to build up the forts of Benghazi. <laughs> Not really as necessary anymore, huh? Now, in here, yeah, very high, very high. Of course it is, 100%. But even then, they didn't actually go against me, because guess what? You're in the middle of the desert. You're not real. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Paraguay wins the World Cup. Speaking of World Cup, what's been going on today in the World Cup? I have not been following, because I'm not at work, and I actually... Don't bother checking. Puerto Rico wins independence. In here, Iraqi oil exploitation. I'm thinking a pipeline for fuel silos, an Eastern Anatolian railway. Oh, it adds infrastructure and build one level between Ankara to cars. Oh, I already did that from Ankara to cars. Oh no, there's gonna be another one now. In here, I'm thinking 100% bonus on some imagery equipment. I could get down with that. Oh boy, I need a lot more equipment. But I have enough sec bands to where I could build some some of that. I don't know when the war's gonna kick off. That was something I do not know. Turkestan Republic has fallen. Yeah. Sorry guys. It happens. Can't help you. Let's look at our occupied territories. You're down quite a bit to where I think I should send you over to Bahrain. Occupied territories, bit of an issue over there. <laughs> 100% absolutely hated me right there. Yep, not so great over there. Republicans win the Greek rec referendum. Weren't they socialists for a bit? No, no, that was, uh, that was Serbia. And then you went fascist but now you're authoritarian democracy and then you you're chilling you went social liberal okay fair enough we got italy kicking butt taking names two sicilies double sicily over here i am worried about this war here uh though let's see i could just pull back to derna and hold the derna line or try to do a naval invasion at Messer Matru and cut off their forces from behind. That could be an option. The issue with that being that they would be cut off. Kingdom of Spain has joined the Entente. Ah, the King of Spain. The Carlists won, striving for our Tarki. Now let's see how janky this is, because I built a railroad and another saying that they built their own railroad. That's not so bad. It goes from Ankar here, and then it cuts across the hills from, to Ezlerum to Kars. So there's got this line and this line. It's actually it's actually pretty good. I don't mind that at all. We can go for land doctrine. Get another land doctrine. Get some bonus off it. It's first industry. I think our nation's going pretty okay. Now we can't really build up our own navy. Ah, we got a new, got a new ship in the fleet. The OHG Hudabingai. Which I'm thinking I'll make another fleet like this. But for the Persian Gulf. I'm thinking I'll put the fleet into here. Give them one, uh... Maybe you can be... What is that? Donmo Flissoso. You're the first, you're the second. You can be the third. V. You can be the third fleet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm thinking we throw this guy in there. We give him one of these. And then we also put those in. And this fleet I would like to have stationed out of Basra. 
so that we can all just come and chill. It's funny that these fleets are leaving just to come back into Basra. Everybody get going. Invasion of Kassam. Oh, great. I just, I just took my fleet. Yeah. Townsmen of the otherwise quiet Kassab have really awakened the presence of an Iranian detachment. Off the shore this morning is set another mounting. Where's Kassab? Is that, is that this place? Of the Arab Gulf, the government of Tehran uh, have seemingly unilaterally taken control of the entire Strait of Hormuz and the occupation without bloodshed. Well, here's the thing. We definitely can't... We definitely can't uh, ultimate for war until my troops get back. So how long does this last? 12 days. Get the fuck back in there. Get the fuck back in there. We cannot risk war. Get... Absolutely get back in that straight. Okay, good. We're here. Uncertain times. Set sail. Stability down. They've declared war on us, which means the other war is probably going to come soon. Now we got plenty of troops in the region. So what was that? It was this province right there, Kassab. Now then, I would like Jabba Shamar to join. Yemen can stay out for now, but Jabba Shamar would like to join. In here, the troops that we have in the region. I got troops on this border. I want you to up to Ahaz. You, we look at up here. I would like you to start forming a line there. You, your whole line, I want you to start bringing over along here. And even break some off and join there. You break some off and join there in that line. Your line. I want you to take up the middle spots there. Everybody else hold positions. We'll break off a division here. Send over. You prepare for an invasion here. Because they're not a part of the Cairo pact or anything. And then you, I want you up there. You, I want on strike, no, patrol missions in the Gulf. Constant patrol missions. You guys just watch out. You take over that real quick. Research slots. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Three civilian factories. To build up my military. I have pretty good up here now. My free dockyards. It's a good thing we got that heavy cruiser ready. Okay, dockyards. I could spend it on some. Let's see, the straits. Straight to Portimus. We're going to take this side to try and keep them out. I am worried about... Uh, let's see, I guess I could build up some more submarines. They're not They're not very good. They're not very good. The D-Class. Just build like two of those more. Just to give us something to do with our time. I'm going to need my planes to come out here. In Persia. And then break some off. You are... Okay, your fighters, Kurdistan, you break off, go to Kurdistan as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yep, go. Everybody get on their lines, everybody get on your lines. Absolutely. Absolutely, everybody should be on the rail. Oh, you're you're here. You're here. Well, you join up with this army here. And get out there. You're going right. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Anybody who has to go a long distance, get in there. Should be fine. Everybody else. Hopefully Jabba Shamar will bring up some troops. Now that we have troops... Now that we have an actual war going on, I think what I should do is break off a Berkifurkasa. Let's see, what is Turkish translation? 
artillery. Topko with Topko Lily. Tapso. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because I do have a decent stockpile, 600 artillery pieces. So I'll duplicate this. I'll add in some support artillery to begin with. That's 12 pieces. And then add in some more artillery. That's now 84 pieces. This is the Piara Perasa Topsovili. Not the not the best way to describe it, but yeah, blow up Shuation. Go for it. I'll start giving those to the troops. Especially troops that are near combat. Or near oh, oh hello there. The ah look at that. We got some Imperial Camel Corps that I could have. But I'm thinking where was it? The Upso Ili. Troops that are going into combat but won't be in there for a while. You there, you could get some. Probably some artillery pieces. You, you could get some. Troops that are coming in but do not have any at the moment. Similarly, I have enough tanks. I could do what I was planning to do with my tanks. Which is go into the cavalry. What's the word for armored is zig zigli. Duplicate you real quick. You with some motorized. I can only do one because of the amount of points it takes. Unless yeah, I can only do one because of the amount of points it takes. It would draw down our max speed slightly. It'll increase our fuel capacity, yeah, increase our soft attack, our heart attack, our defense, our breakthrough, our armor. And, mm, no, even, oh, it'll even be slightly better than regular piercing, so that should be good. That'll be, the word is, better, Zer Hilly, Zer H. Lee. Zer H. Lee. And you should get your own symbol. A symbol of maybe a light tank would be nice, but I can't. There is none for just a small little light tank. Hmm. What would be a good symbol for that? Battle axe, beehive, cockroach, a spider, a horse. Uh, yeah, the horseshoe. More important, yep. And we can apply those to some cavalry that are on the path but haven't reached there yet. That'll take 60 light tanks. The first. Nice, nice, nice. The third, I'll give it to them too. They won't have as much. But they uh, they they build up pretty quickly. Rebellion in Armenia. Players are minute. No, of course not. No, of course, we have already pulled away our troops from there. You get in there. You just hold this defensive line for now. You. Hmm. You attack that way. You attack this way to Umnia. Umilia. Go this way. You're coming in. Maybe you come up here. Maybe break off some of these troops. Because you... Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to have to fight over in the east yet. You definitely break up and join there. That Boom. Boom. Attack that way. You attack this way. Basra into Arhaz. Hmm. I definitely invited you into the war. Now, are you the type of puppet that I can 
called the arms? Iranian. Yeah, didn't I do that? Didn't I do that already? Send volunteers, issue embargo, return request forces. This country does not allow you to request. Damn. Yemen, I could call you to arms. Iranian Ottoman War. <laughs> They're both Iranian Ottoman War. They've broken out, which means that I guess I do have you can chill out and go to Tehran. You. I need my planes, whatever they're up to. Yeah, all right. Not doing a whole lot out there. I could get some air bases a bit closer to home in Van and Ezerun. Put those up higher, because I cannot do anything out here. Still have to go. You with your plan should be to attack this way. To the point where maybe you should even attack that way. Boom, boom. I would love that. I would love that. Go ahead. I don't mind. You with your troops. You two are you two are having a bad time anyway. Let's go ahead and join this force there. I could probably better space out some of my generals. You okay? You're doing fine. You don't have a field marshal though. Yeah, you come in. Break them from all sides. You, yep, down to Urma. You've taken that province. You get yourselves ready. You attack, you attack. Sao Paulo, done thing. Jabal Shamar does not want to bring in their troops. Might be, an, they might be saying that they're going to attack me later. That might be what that's implying. But at the moment, I'm okay with just allowing them to chill. You two, do your best to hold them steady. The issue is until I can get troops right there. Right there, and right there. Yeah. If I can get troops right there, in cars, I'm not going to have a good time. Intelligence agencies... I think we should be fine there. You just break them because they're so close to being um, defeated. They're so close they have barely any organization. Absolutely crush them. You go around the base in Arhaz. You as well. Go around and break them in Arhaz. <sighs> In here, you just t you chill, take these positions, and just wait. We need to. Nope, nope, absolutely not. Don't do this line. Yes, thank you. Good, good, good. good, good. You just chill. We have cars, and I know cars is. Okay. Now you can come in from this attack. <laughs> Just cycle them. And you're coming out when? In four days. If you come in, you'd be coming in in one day. No. The unit will arrive in four days, we'll arrive in next location in one day. Uh, the difference between... One day, 12 hours. One day, 11 hours. One day, 12 hours. I think we'll still get there first. Allow it to go. Attack from this side, and then come in. <laughs> ah, shit, they brought in troops there. That's no fair. That's no fair at all. You're not allowed to have soldiers in on the front line. As we're trying to take the Karma. And you try to take the Trabis. 
efendim. Hazırım efendim. Hazırım efendim. Now, what kind of defenses you got out here? You got militia. I do think we can just keep blasting them. In here, we do have... Luckily, we got some of this now. I want to take care of the Armenians first. So we'll send the planes up there. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. So now we got the air superiority. So now even though it's going to be a slug, it's still pretty good. You with your tanks. Show me what you got with those tanks. And you, you're still doing what you can. They now have only one. We'll break them. We'll destroy them. Everything will be good in the world. Let's go. Ah, oh, they're bringing in even more troops. Okay, fine. Now you're just getting complicated. And now we're fighting them on two fronts. Restructure the fence, the thing. Military. F uh, let's see. Military factories. Where's the defenses? Standardized equipment, engineering, schools, province in a state somewhere. Black Sea forts. I definitely need to focus on the war front. You, up and around, up and around. Same with you. <laughs> you was join the Reich's back. Good for them. Urma. Ah, battle's pretty good here. Most of my army is still stuck somebody at, somewhere else, though. In here, I'm thinking we go light tanks. I want to get better light tanks, because I want to be able to use them. Ah, we got them. Good, good. And I want there, too. That was the entire purpose of the war. You patrol. Kill anybody who comes across you. You, I want you out here. I want you on... Uh, I don't want to spend my entire fleet. Cut it in half. I don't know what this means. It'll be the second. You. I want you out here. I want you to stay there. I want you out here in the coast. I want you to start running again against the Iranians. Hmm. I don't like that we're leaving one of our provinces pretty well. Uh, destroy? Not destroy. You attack that way. I'm sending these tankers all the way up to Trebiz to cut off all those troops at once. You chill out until we can get into Tehran a bit, get around a bit better. Federal collapse, as one does. Are you sending all your troops? Yeah, kind of. All your troops against my troops. We, it will eventually work. The battle strategy here will eventually work. If we just uh, play it cool enough. The fact that they're in double combat, the fact that they are... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You make sure you watch out for Trebees. Eventually we'll break them there. Eventually the double combat there will break them. We've already broken them there. If we can take care of the war in Iran before the war in the desert, it'll absolutely just uh, ease things up a bit. You can keep worrying about the battle in Yerevan. Uh, roll up the flanks and then we'll eventually break them because they already don't have any supply. In here. <laughs> This unit's not having a good time. You're in multiple combat. Everybody just chill. Everybody just chill. What I really need is for... Oh, Yerevan. Most of their armies have been destroyed. You go up there for a bit and then come back down. You will destroy the Arminians. Armini has fun pants, actually. Nice. Good for them. I don't see how that involves me at all. I want to take another layer that real quick make sure that we're not being yep make sure we're not being cut off here 
I'm gonna roll up the planks. You up the planks, up the planks, you up the planks. Roll up the planks. You roll down the planks. Outdated equipment is the D class submarines. Yeah, well. So be it. Here, you guys have just arrived. I want you combo raiding in the in the gold. Uh, nah, just just in the goal. Just combat raiding goal. They brought in a lot more troops. How much longer you got? Like 13 days? Damn. How much longer you got? Like 7 or 8. With enough... With enough attack, we will break it there. It's okay. And Urmia might fall first anyway. You hold, you hold. You keep attacking just to hold them in place. Somebody got sick. Most healthy, Autumn in general. You up here. This one will break first with the air support. So all the wheel be right in the world. Uh, can we get any more air bases? I want an air base up to here, please. Definitely good for me. You will roll up that coast. Good. Aha, Yerevan has already fallen. That is the collapse of Armenia. Armenia has fallen. Good for me. Select all, please. Some demands. I should take your states. Treaty of Yerevan. You are once again a part of the Empire. You get a little bit closer. Ah, oh, crap, they got back, they got troops back into Tehran. Well, I wasn't looking. Oh, fine, whatever. We can use this as an excuse. Uh, use, use your words. Here, I want your troops all the way up through there. Spread out, just chill. You, hey, stop that. Why do you keep getting involved in battles? Uh, you, maybe go that way. Let them spread out. Yeah, I'm surprised no one's trying to take in Soleimani. You, you stop them from trees. Because so long as we have these areas, it's still okay. Mm-hmm, mm hmm You attack that way. You attack this way. Get into Drabiz and attack that way. <laughs> You're just chilling. Get over into there. Surprise, nobody's attacked me from the rear yet. With me had fallen. All right, now your army. Your great battle strategy is to take there, and yours is to... That's the army of Mesopotamia. Your great battle strategy is hold the line there. So everybody go do what you're supposed to. You're the army of Armenia. Everybody get in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, usually around this time... Usually it'd be around this time. Let's see, in here... We got nothing. We got nothing. We have no supply routes anywhere near us. Best I can do is to try and increase there. And try to push out a little bit more. Break their army there. Just fight them normally down in Arhaz. The army of Baghdad is not having a good time. <laughs> oh no. You do your best to get in there so we can hold. Make sure they don't break this army out before it is our time. Try to come back in and defend Salamani. You make sure we break that army. It's very important that we do. 
They have basically no organization left. Just break their org. Just like break their org. Duh. Join the attack on this side. Join the attack forward. <laughs> you guys just chill and make sure you hold on to Baghdad. Ah, good. More sp diversify or maximize. Diversify, maximize. I like diversity. Or standardize. Military equipment. Hmm. Hmm. Amateur equipment, support equipment. I like I, I like that. I think that's nice. Up here, the army. Let's just wrap you up into the army of Mesopotamia. And now what should you be doing? Again, you're my veteran mountain army, so you should definitely be up here. Pushing on down that way. Well, my more mobile uh, pulp army should really be doing something else. You, I would like, would like military access, but I know I can't really get that. Huh. Because at the moment, hmm, it goes through Nakiyuk Chivan. I could have Trebiz. Once I take Trebiz, granted, I'm thinking what I could do is go from here. Break one off and come in like that with the basic plan of going up and around for bees and then using that to cut off the city. Mm -hmm. Everybody get to positions, we'll get ready for the invasion of Trebiz. The warriors gone bird. If Ken had been a sultan, the Iwans would still be alive. <laughs> <laughs> I tried playing the Ottomans in Victoria. Yes, it's hard. You up and around. You, you this way. Just hold the siege until we can get done. Oh, hey, I, I don't have to buy as much steel anymore. I could use that to buy some tungsten or something. From German East Asia. That sounds nice. Everybody up and around. You up and around. We have basically no supplies, but we'll have to make do with what we got. And uh, you, Osman Faoud Effendi. Ah, good, we finally took that area around Arhaz. You, uh, let the infantry take that by your cavalry. Be cavalry. Go to Kermensa. Indeed. Attack, attack, attack. Always be attacking. But don't break them until we can actually surround the city. It's very important. There we go. You defend. You that way. You want to defend. With Trebiz, we can actually get some supply once we build the railroad. And let's see. The construction should be done pretty soon. So once we have Trebiz, everything should be fine. We we are breaking through to Calm. And through to Calm. You attack this way, this way. We could maybe even make a breakout all the way into Tehran. Unlikely, but we could. It's a thing we could do. If things really go well for us, that's something that we could look forward to in the future. Uh, we don't really have much fighting going on inside of Mesopotamia anymore, so we might as well pull out and go somewhere else. Come on. The Battle of Trebiz needs to give us our supply. We need to break them. Break them from all sides, but all possible. The Clover Revolution. We took Calm. Suck that dick to a Calm. Let's see if we got anything in Tehran itself. What What was this war even about? <laughs> Tech Kassab. Come on, Tehran. You're really going to make us fight it all the way out for that little speck of land? Just give up already. We're we're in your capital. We are in your walls. And now I'm wrapping up your lines. Come on. I got my tank divisions. Oh, and you have tank divisions. Let's go tank on tank combat. Let's see who wins. 
We are actually stronger than your tanks, but it's probably because you're not fully supplied yet. <laughs> Do some of that. I got barely enough troops to hold this line. But I think still hasn't fallen. But Tehran has. Tehran? The entire war is about one place. Well, yeah, I know. It's, it's about this little speck. And they just won't give it to me. You know, while I'm here, you, I might as well launch some, like, punitive raids on there with this army, because what else am I doing, you know? You can launch there. Yeah, you can launch to there. Hey, what happened to that middle guy? I definitely had a middle guy plan there. Come on, what? Wait, where is it? You go there. You there. That's odd, but I guess it counts. Just won't show up. Abu Dhabi to Bendar. I don't know why that's not working, but just work with it anyway. With Trabiz falling. Boom, there we go. Now then, I need to redistribute some of these troops. Because your armies are overlapping to a ridiculous degree. I need you to go like there. I need you to wrap around to the army of whatever they were called. I forget what they're called. And everybody just chill. Is it really the time to be chilling? Diplomatic overtures from Greece. While our relations with the Greeks have been cool for the past since the rebellion of Turkish rule in the 19th century, they will receive several emissaries from the Greeks with the Hopeful of a new start of a new era with peace between our nations, perhaps even going so far as eventually work in exchange by land of people. Hmm. Hmm. We have better, better to welcome them? Sure, why not? I don't mind. And also switch over and have some like light tank manufacturing from max speed and defense. I do like that because at the fate of Armenia. Oh, right, yeah. Assimilation. Assimilation. Vader Arminia, I'm glad I caught that. Three military factories, I'm still making. You know what? The uh, the uh, Sekban Bs? But we make a Sekban C now that we got the manufacturer. And switch them over to have like oil drums or something. And then also give them the max speed and the max defense. Maybe some more armor. And uh, increase the engine to as good as you can get it. Seems reasonable. And that's not a whole lot else I could uh, dress them up as. So that's, that should work. Save as new. Boom. We got sick man C's. Boom. We could already rock it just fine. I think more infantry equipment. Infantry equipment is very important. Even as our tanks push forward. Your tanks are very low. They're very low on supply. <laughs> uh, the tank divisions are coming back in to try and take me on. Try to take on me. You get into position. We're gonna roll up the corners again. One of my favorite tactics is just roll up the corners. In here. <laughs> we took coming shot. Well, that's something. Everybody hold their partners. Round and round. Polish People's Republic. Hey, yo, they got People's Republics now? Can't have shit in place. You, you're chilling. You can join this force. And this force can exercise. Come on. Once they get there. You wrap them up. We got most of their army in one big swoop. Welcome better relations. Yeah, why not? We don't have to be an asshole all the time. We'll just land here and try to take Sheroaz that way. Sheroaz. Charades. We'll play charades with them. We'll attack from all sides. Tehran is kind of vulnerable, but it is what it is. Yeah, you're the only one that left. What the hell? Why not? I just want multiple attack planes. That's so bad. None of you want to go. We'll land there. Take Sheroaz. 
Sonnet. Everybody else just kind of chill. Everybody else just kind of chill. Just you. Just you take Shiraz. Someone will probably take it behind you. We'll be fine. In fact, everybody get involved in this. Because they're going to send troops over from Bandar Abbas. Abbas. And then we'll just roll up the corners once again, as we do. We'll just do what we do best, and roll up our corners in this big encirclement. You, I can't wait to give you a... Yeah, took part of Tehran. You definitely deserve something there. They were they cost it 37.5. Is that inflation? Are they, are they inflating the prices now? Taking Shiraz. We can come up this way and meet with them. Now the capital is in Meshhead. Not in Meth not in Methhead, anywhere but there. Wait until we got some enforcements in here. Tried to take Bandarabas. Bandarabas. Bandarabas? Everybody else. Just allow the army to wash over us. I'm so glad we're not in a two front war. This would be so much harder if it was a two front war. We're gonna wait on the armor project until we can uh, successfully get our new improved tanks out. So we'll just chill on that. Maybe get ourselves aviation, continue naval buildup, oil. We've been rocking full oil pretty much this entire time. How about reeling in the Anatolian violets? Seems like something we should be doing. Because we did just win a war against an Armenian uh, attack. So that, was, that was good. You. Make sure that they... Everybody hold your partner steady. Wait until we can reel our enemies in. And wrap them up. Until then, Terhan will just have to hold. Same with over here. Trying to take Bandar Abbas. Egypt, this was your chance. This was your chance. You, I'm at negative 59% stability. This was your opportunity. You did not take it. I don't know why you're not taking it, but I appreciate that you're not taking it. Istafan has fallen. Let's go down here to Shiraz. Start crushing them real quick. Let's allow them to take that square. No. It's going to let me take Bandarabas. Bandarabas. Iran, please. I'm, I'll be lenient. I will be lenient. Maybe. If I'm, if I'm lenient, they'll probably join up against us in the next war. So I need to at least destroy their army. Maybe. Ooh. Is demilitarized zones a thing? I know that they were in base game. I don't think they are in this game. I'm worried about what happens when this army fails, because they'll probably... Yep. They'll cut off my regular army. They gave them a chance to get out, and they're taking it. I don't want them to have a chance to get out. You took the Derbus. I say you... Join up with this army. I say just go and on a spree, just get out there. Oh, now I can't get out that army. Oops. Oops. Stop it. I want them to not be in this position. Haifa opened its doors. The Congress of Haifa. Didn't know that was a thing. Just break them. Hey, we got the we got the Iranian Navy. Maybe I should have spared them. So I could probably steal some of those ships. They don't have anywhere else to go. So it doesn't really affect me much. Oop. Break off breaker. No, you, de you defend the coast. Hmm. Make sure they can't escape. You, maybe finish them off. It doesn't work if there's an opening. Come on, get in there. Here 
in here. They managed to reconnect up there. That's fine. Fine, whatever, whatever. Maybe you just join this army, go there, and you switch over. Mm. You took Kermit, come back and defend there. I'm thinking don't even have defensive lines. I got more, I need more. I need more, more, more. <laughs> you kick him out. And make sure that we, international community, abolishes the MOJ. But they're right there. What happened next? Hmm. I don't know what happens next. But I don't want to find out. You, make sure. Yep. And then... On the line, please. Get going. Fall back and make sure we hold our defenses. Good, good, good. Everybody get to position. You, I want you and Estefan, because I want you to kind of move through too. One, make sure we destroy their army. Legit, you would think they would jump in with them on two front war. I, I would think so. Alas. I'm going to break from my usual tradition and maybe get ourselves an anti-tank gun. Or maybe get ourselves some better engine? So that when the tank is ready, we can have a, get a better tank. You would imagine that they would want to attack me in this state, but alas. They cannot think of that themselves. I want to wrap up and destroy the Iranian army, because I actually do want to leave Iran intact after this war is done. If you are in position, I want you to just get yourself back into position. You through, break them. We just wrap up the army once again. Wrap them up. Put them in a little bow. <sighs> How many casualties have I suffered? 23,000. They have suffered 59,000. You know what? You hold off and just do some of this real quick. I actually don't want them to break before I can destroy their army. Because like I said, I want to destroy the army before we take the rest away. You. Anybody got the... Uh... You have it. Nice. But you're on the wrong front. I could put everybody in there and get the scavenger crate going, but it's fine. It's fine, I'm sure. Up, up, up we go. Because the more that they have at least two spots to break. If they have two spots to break. Extend authority over the Kurds. While I have my army out here, that might be a good idea. Or I could come in here and do some engineering schools. I don't know where that actually builds. Forts, it just says it builds forts somewhere. 